Hi, everybody. I'm Tim Donnelly, and we are post game here on this Saturday, February the 19th. Charlotte Rush Elite and USP3 sweep the Palm Beach Hawks, and we got a lot of exciting happenings to talk about. And first, let us bring in the head coach of the USP3, Charlotte Rush, Trevor Jewell. Trevor, a couple of very exciting games, and you were very prophetic. You said Palm Beach was going to come in here and lay it all out, and they certainly did, but your team prevailed with two very exciting one goal wins. Yeah, these were two great hockey games. I thought, um, you know, we played pretty well for the most part. Gave up some, uh, soft, I don't want to call them soft goals, just some lapses here and there in our game. But, um, you know, they came up here, they wanted to beat us, and, and they, they did a very good job trying to do so. Um, you know, hats off to them for playing and competing with us and, and giving us, a uh, you know, some good competition for the first round. So I think that prepares us for the next round. But um, we, did, we got done what we needed to do, and that was win two games to move on to the next series. Let's talk about a couple of players that really had a big impact. We got a starting goal with Anthony Keating. Uh, you had told us pregame today what a great game he had yesterday. He made some big stops, and, you know, the Palm Beach Hawks outshot the rush in that third period, and when the game was on the line, a lot of pressure, Anthony came up big for us. Yeah, of course. You know, I, I think he's a big-time goalie. He uh, steps up when he needs to. Um, you know, you know the one goal he got today, yeah, by no means of his own, that, that it's his fault. Uh, it's a breakaway, and, uh, you know, our D got to be better there. But um, at the end of the day, we got the win, and he made the saves he needed to make and put us in a good position to win the game. Trevor, I would imagine, too, that two pressure-packed games like this and Anthony getting a lot of pressure in net, as well as your other players, will really bode well for him and the rush moving forward in the next round. I, I sure hope so. Um, you know, we don't know who we're playing yet, but, you know, it's good to have a good first round like that, so we're prepared for the next round. Trevor Jewell, the head coach of the USP3 Charlotte Rush, as we talk about a sweep of the Palm Beach Hawks here at the Extreme Ice Center on Friday and Saturday. Trevor, today, your best players really stepped up. Jimmy Gold, Mark Kishko, and Chris Dunn all got the goals for you today. As we've talked to Ryan Crothers about the elite team as well and what they do, you always want your best guys to be your best guys in the playoffs, and today, those guys were. Yeah, those three really stepped up today. They put the puck in the net when we needed it most, and, um, you know, I couldn't ask more of them, out of them today. Uh, you know, I was happy with their play for the most part. Um, still some things we got to work out here and there in the next uh, few days here coming, to, coming up in practice. But um, they played well. They did the things necessary, and they did what they do best, and that's put pucks in the net. Well, again, the Rush does not know who their next opponents are going to be. Both the Elite and the Rush uh, USP3 team finished up early. These other games, some of them just getting underway today, Trevor. So we're going to have to wait maybe a couple of days to see who our next opponent's going to be. Yeah, you know, we don't know who we're going to see in the next round, but uh, we'll be prepared for them, and we're definitely ready to go, that's for sure. A couple of final questions and thoughts and observations from Trevor Jewell. Trevor, how about the uh, team right now? Anybody banged up outside of the normal bumps and bruises? I'm um, not at the moment. No, obviously we still got two guys out, but um, right now it's still, it looks like we're pretty healthy. So um, we can only hope for the best, and hopefully nothing comes out of the norm. You know, come tomorrow. But uh, you know, we're going to move forward with what we have, and we're we're excited and ready to go. All right, next Thursday, Friday, and then if necessary, Saturday in the next round, round two of the USP3 South Division playoffs. And uh, Trevor, talk about the schedule for the next couple of days. Will you give the guys a day off tomorrow? Are you practicing? What's on the agenda for the guys? Well, obviously a nice uh, well-earned day off tomorrow and then uh, maybe get back after it on Monday if we can find some ice. But uh, definitely back at it on Tuesday and, and, and Wednesday and prepare for our game Thursday. And again, in closing, Trevor, last year the USP3 team did not make the playoffs. They were somewhat competitive, but they were feeling their way through. And then this year to finish in second place and also win the first round and sweep, uh, got to be very satisfying for you and Ryan. Yeah, it's definitely very satisfying to see these guys come together this year and do the things they've done. Um, they, they've made us very proud, and um, you know we still got a lot of work to do to get to where we want, and that's our ultimate goal. So um, we're proud of them, but you know now it's the next next step forward. Trevor, congratulations. Great job by the USP3 rush sweeping Palm Beach, and we'll look forward to that second round next week. Thanks, Tim. All right, Trevor Jewell, the head coach of the USP3 Charlotte Rush. Of course, you can go to our YouTube Charlotte Rush page. Lots of videos on there, and also our Charlotte Rush website at uh, charlotterushhockey.com, charlotterushhockey.com. Well, again, I'm Tim Donnelly, voice of the Charlotte Rush. Thanks to John Keating running our camera and producing our video today. And again, thanks so much for watching.